Hi, my name is Joseph Park, the WWE Champion of the World, and you're watching Sporting Icons. Okay, so Tyson Fury puts out a little ranting, raving kind of video going at Alexander Usyk, calling him gaffy and ugly and effing and jeffing up and down. I don't know who he's trying to convince here. I don't think he realises the damage that he's done to his own reputation. I don't think he actually realises how many fans he's actually lost. Or maybe he does. Maybe he doesn't care. Because Tyson coming out with this little rant video, for me, reeks of relief this is just pure relief from Tyson Fury nothing more just relief because we know that he never actually wanted that fight we know it the receipts are there Usyk knows it Tyson knows it Frank Warren knows it Bob Arum knows it Alexander Krasuk knows it Igor Klimas knows it I know it you all listening know it and everybody around the world knows it now the only people who will defend Tyson Fury are those who actually want to sleep with Tyson Fury. They're the only ones that will do it. That's all it is. Tyson is in damage control. The world knows that Tyson Fury is at fault in this one. He's exposed himself as not being what he said that he was, which is a Spartan and he don't care about money. It was all a lie. It was all a lie. And I don't know what else can be said or done to show those of you who still think that Tyson Fury is the greatest thing walking on planet Earth. And quite why you do is beyond me anyway. But at the end of the day, Fury didn't want this fight. And shouting and raving and jeffing and all that kind of stuff ain't going to change anything. Because nobody believes you, Tyson. We don't believe you. Nobody does. Alexander Usyk came out of this as pretty much the undisputed heavyweight world champion. People think that you are afraid of this little man that you called a middleweight. I say little man, he's six foot three. He's a little bit bigger than I am. But you, you're the one who called him a rabbit. You're the one who said that he's no good. You're the one who was mocking Anthony Joshua for losing twice to this little rabbit. But yet, at least Anthony Joshua actually had the guts to get in the ring with him. Not once, but twice. And Alexander Usyk was willing to take, was it, Alexander Krasik said yesterday, that Alexander Usyk got paid three, maybe four times the amount of money against Anthony Joshua than what he would have got against Tyson Fury. Okay? That tells you, Tyson... And, and, and everybody who seems to think Tyson's this big cash cow and this global superstar, no, he ain't, no, is he? He ain't. He just isn't. It's all just a PR job. That's all it is. If you say something often enough, there'll be enough people out there who may start to believe it. Okay, you can fudge the numbers around, you can do all that kind of stuff, but ultimately, Fury didn't want this fight. And that's all it comes down to. He didn't want this fight. Had this had been Deontay Wilder, it had been signed ages ago. Do you know why? Because Fury actually wanted that fight. Why? Because he knew he could beat Wilder. He knew that Deontay Wilder is a one-trick pony and all he's got to watch out for is that one right hand. That's all he's got to do. Not this fast, elusive, southpaw, more skilled than Fury, highly more intellectual in that boxing ring than Tyson Fury. The only thing Tyson Fury had in this one is size advantage. But... You know what? He wanted size advantage. Um, he got. He wanted home advantage. He wanted the officials' advantage. He wanted the money advantage. He wanted all the kind of advantages that he could possibly get against a so-called middleweight. Right? None of this is my opinion, or very little of it is my opinion. Most of it's fact, right? Because at the end of the day, Fury, you've just exposed yourself. You can shout, you can insult Alexander Usyk, call him gappy teeth, and all that kind of stuff as much as you possibly want. Nobody believes you. All that hard work that you have done for your mental health and all that kind of stuff. And congratulations for making a few quid out of it, by the way. But all of it has come crumbling down around your ears. People don't see you as the working class superhero. They don't see you like that anymore. I don't know why people did in the first place. But those who did, most of them don't now. Most of them see you for what you really are. And what it appears that you are is a charlatan. Because you couldn't back up all the things that you've been saying. That's charlatan work. 
Like it, don't like it. If what I'm saying is hurting anybody's feelings who listen to this right now, that says more about you than it does about me because you're in love with Tyson and people will do th- crazy and silly, wonderful things when they're in love with somebody. But guess what? He ain't going to sleep with you. Okay, he just isn't. He ain't going to marry you. He's happily married. He's got his own little family going on, all that kind of stuff. And good luck to him. You will never be part of it. Okay, you can fantasize all you like, but the reality is Tyson Fury ducked Alexander Usyk. Not the other way around. Try and spin it. Ain't nobody going to believe you. All right? Drop your thoughts below. Click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you next video.